hey there how are you doing this is kali from tech fans here so uh, recently i thought of uh, doing some uh, installation video of uh, android 13 Uh, so as we were using this evaluation x for uh, quite some time uh, on this device so i thought of moving into pixel and uh, try the things how the things are working in my device redmi note 11 so in the our official uh, telegram group uh, telegram channel redmi note 11 updates we have the official android 13 uh, pixel x we also have a normal and plus edition so i will be downloading the uh, normal edition so this one is uh, krizel 7 is maintaining it is a stable build so the latest one was uh, november 15 so this i have already downloaded it and i have it uh, in my downloads space and in this folder so i also have uh, i did uh, install the Uh, recovery uh, which will help us to get into the ota this one and uh, this one it is initial stable release and plus version also it has and official device applications are reopened and face unlock is back and updated the transitions uh, sorry translations and old call issues and everything is has been fixed uh, device sensor animation remove not unnecessary overlays blobs kernels donations so now what we are going to do is i i in my earlier video we have installed the orange fox recovery on this one so what i have done is i have one sd card uh, which i have inserted inside this mobile and this one is uh, redmi note 10 inside the space i have both the pixel experience and that uh, recovery but i am not going to install that recovery so that is there so from here i'll just uh, reboot to the uh, recovery and uh, let us try to install it uh, through the sd card because now we have uh, unencrypted the data we are able to deencrypt the data so now i have opened the orange fox Okay, so I am giving this password one two three four. Okay, it is now decrypted, and I have to format. Um, so still uh, format the data. I have to format the data, but uh, this one metadata and data. so this three i will do and where is system dalvik cache those things i am unable to find that one manage partition and i believe that much is fine so i will go to my external micro sd card inside that i have uh, this uh, uh pixel experience uh, in this which one is uh, yeah this is the official uh, uh, one which i have downloaded it so i'll just uh, refresh the orange fox fox after installing the rom that is important so i'll just do that one. okay here it is showing the zip is corrupted it is expected because that memory card had some issues so what i am going to do i'll just connect to my this one and the mtp should work but here it is not showing so how you can fix it uh, well you can open the uh, drivers device manager and in here here you can see that mtp is not this one so update driver uh, search update manually um, somehow we showed in that video so this one let me choose it from my computer all all devices so here i need to choose this one already in the inf file so computer um 
windows inf so here open okay and now here it should show the mtp1 generic nptp entry standard maybe i have to watch that video well after trying lot of things i am unable to uh, enable the mtp so again i have to use the what uh, side load method so i'll first format the data um, yes and now i'll go here and adb side load and once the side load is done it has to wipe the dalvik and cache so yeah now i'll open the what i'll say i'll open the archive data this one and redmi note 11 and i have the tool here come on here so now i'll type uh, adb devices okay now the device is connected so i'll type adb side load and then what i do i'll go here simply and downloads uh, in here i have the pixel experience i'll insert the pixel experience maybe that the driver issue is not uh, showing properly uh, mainly due to that i am in the beta channel or something or preview channel of windows so there are some uh, configuration have changed drastically so yeah okay so here in the 47 uh, percentage it will get finished so yeah it has showed some uh, error maybe it is due to that uh, i have formatted the storage or something so so this one currently installing in the which partition um yeah now this is successful and this one is currently installing in the a partition so so it should now uh, orange fox is somewhat uh, intelligent it will automatically no it is not intelligent so what i have to do uh, fast boot uh, reboot oh no fast boot i have to set the i have to set that uh, this one as a default one so here i have the command i believe yeah i do have it so fast boot uh, dash dash so fast boot uh, dash dash set uh, a so i'll use that command to set that uh, partition a
and now do fast boot reboot which will uh, reboot our device to the uh, system fast boot boot and then here i have the orange fox maybe it is because of that uh, it is not properly i don't know why it is not working okay now it is successful so and now it is booted to orange fox okay okay still the slot is in b so i'll switch to slot a okay so and now i will reboot to the system it should eventually no it is not switching okay so finally i just booted into uh, what i will say um fixel experience here you can see fixel experience so uh, the issue is that uh, there is something wrong with the orange fox query or something it is not booting into the active part uh, inactive partition even though Uh, when i changed it so what i have done is i just uh, flashed the twrp through my uh, this one and i formatted the okay i just flashed the twrp through the pc and i just formatted the data and then i switched back to the a partition and i booted and finally uh, the fixel experience has uh, booted so yeah there is something uh, is issue with the orange fox i don't know Uh, if you know about anything about anything about the description how it is actually uh, decryption how it is actually working just let me know in the comment section i have faced this similar issue with my note uh, 10 pro as well so yeah so this is how the boot animation looks and that's pretty much it there isn't uh, there isn't much any uh, issue uh, sorry there isn't much any customization or something just a plain aosp and we have the camera so yeah let me um, use this for couple of days and we will see how it is holding up and eventually you will see it in the full review in w so yeah that's what about this video good morning